from the wagon, sir. Transporting a fugitive. Hey! Hey, you! Please! You, you gotta get me out of here! Get me out of here! I got a wife and kids! Shut up and keep still! I won't ask again! Move out of the way! I never robbed a thing in all my life! Come on! Oh, you're giving me a headache! Let's go, boy. for a moment. The name's William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly. And nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight.
<laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you.
Weiter! Jose? You wanna go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big Shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. He won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Ah, oh, sorry, boy. Don't be scared of him. Yeah, that's it, boy. Easy, big feller. All right, let's head into town. And maybe stay out of the saloon this time. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We're heading out. range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there came back in the next day and he woke up started right back drinking again <laughs> <laughs> uh, I miss those boys Jenny too she had some spot that girl it must be pretty hard on Lenny you could tell he was sweet on her well Lenny and Jenny could never have worked that's like Arthur and Martha or Bill and Phil <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Yeah, okay, boy. 
are just up ahead. All right. Go sell that big fruit. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey. How can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <whistles> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look.
All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. Gonna mount that new horse of yours? Not. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains. I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way.
That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, Careful. we gotta try. Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just r Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. 